Hey guys, what is up? Crates here, and today I have a really cool video for you guys. Um, I'm going to be unboxing the Black Magic Intensity Extreme powered by the Thunderbolt cable. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to open this with my finger. There we go. Alright, that was better than I expected. Just toss that there. And um, this is what the box looks like. Um, everything is in this box that you need except for the uh, Thunderbolt cable. So, I'm going to go ahead and open it. When you open it, you find it's packaged pretty neat. You can just slide this whole thing out. And these are your, uh, this is the CD for the software and this is the manual. And this just, okay, is that in focus? I don't know. Uh, can y'all read that? I have honestly no idea. That's just the box. I'm going to toss that on the ground, put those aside. And this is the part that really matters, right? So let's uh, try and open this. Now, I've been using this product for a while, and it is awesome. I, I really love it. This is very solid metal. It definitely will not break or, or dent or anything. And they're the ports to HDMI, HDMI out, HDMI in. This is the Thunderbolt port. This, I do not know. I, I guess that's the cable breakout is what it's called, and that's where you can record with component. And then in here, this is, this is, uh, there's nothing else in here, by the way. I'm going to put that down. This is the breakout cable. So this goes there and breaks out into all these different kinds of wires. So you can record with anything you want if you don't have HDMI, but I would suggest using HDMI. So that's pretty much it for the unboxing, except if you open the software, this is what you do. You just get the CD, you get the CD, you put it in your computer, and you just follow the instructions. You install all the software you want, and if for some reason your installed disk does not work, you can go to blackmagicdesign.com and download every um, software for free. If you go to the support section and then choose your model, which you have, and you can do everything for free. All right, so now I'm gonna cut over to the uh, setup part. So I gotta take my camera off the tripod, and I really, is any of this even in focus? I hope it is. All right, I'll be right back. I've already had this set up for a while, so real quick, I'm going to show you how I ran the cables. So, um, let me, there we go. So here's the box, and let me get that in focus. And so I have my, this is my Xbox cable coming from my Xbox. So if you follow it down here, down here, down here, and you can't see that because it is really dark, but my Xbox is down there and it's plugged into that. And this wire here goes down and then back up, right back to here. And this is a converter I use. You obviously don't need this. You would plug this cable right into your TV or monitor or whatever you use. I use this converter so I can play on my iMac. Um, which is kind of disappointing because the iMac doesn't do full 1080p, so I can't record in 1080p, but 720p is fine. After pretty much anything after 720p, you can't notice a difference unless you're on like a 200 inch TV. Um, so yeah, they're my Astros and my Snowball. So I'm going to show you guys how to get this started. Um, when I first did it, I was kind of confused, so let me just open my computer. Oh. Uh, oh, my computer went to sleep. Wake up. And uh, I definitely suggest using, oh, there it is. I definitely suggest using a power plug while you uh, record. So you get your Thunderbolt cable, if I can find it. Here it is. You get the cable, like so. Oh, is that in focus? No. Is that, ah, there we go. Um, so you get the cable, and you plug it in the little bolt, thunderbolt cable in there. That has that little lighting bolt. And um, then what you're going to want to do is go to your applications after you install it and open this one. It is called Black Magic Media Express. Double click. And then what will happen is it will pop up and nothing will happen. And you go over to login capture and then nothing will happen again. But if you notice, 
your TV came on, or my TV came on. So now is you're gonna want to turn on your Xbox. Did you hear that noise? Yeah. Yep, that's my Xbox. That's what noise it makes when it turns on. And if we watch, oh, 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 focus. Here we go. And my Xbox should pop up. If I did this correctly, it's gonna be really embarrassing if I didn't. It's gonna pop up here first, I believe. Let's see. Why isn't it working? Uh-oh, I know. Okay, this is a problem. So, depending on what setting your Xbox is in, you have to match it in your Media Express. So, go to your uh, Media Express. Go to Preferences. Sorry, you guys probably can't see this. You go to Media Express, you go to Preferences, and then you're going to want to change whatever your thing is in. So, I know for a fact mine's in 720p. So, I'm going to choose 720p. Um, it's at 59.94. And you're going to want to use either... Apple ProRes 422. Hold on, let me. You're gonna want to use ProRes 422 or ProRes 422 HQ. Um, that way, if you work with Final Cut Pro, which most Mac users work with, uh, you don't have to render at all. So uh, I use 422 or HQ. I just go between the two, and then you can set locations, folder locations of where all your raw captures go. So now it should work. Ah, see, yes, it popped up, and now it's gonna pop up there. So, it's um, not laggy at all um, on my actual TV screen, but on my computer, on my computer, it's a, it's a noticeable lag, but you can still play. Oh wow, I'm getting a lot of messages. You can still play on that computer, but I suggest just playing on your TV. And I think that's about it. Um, the only drawback that this has that you guys probably want to know about because I didn't understand why this wasn't working or, or what whatever um, it has to be plugged in it has to be wow it is not in focus it has to be plugged in for it to work and you have to have this program open and if it the program is not open I don't know why but it won't show up there so you have to have the program open and you have to have it plugged in everything correct or it won't work and the biggest problem I had was trying to figure out how this how these preferences work. So I'm going to real quick show you my preferences. I need to work on my cameraman skills. So there, if you want to grab that. Um, Lacey Clan is just my home computer name. So that just grabs it and puts it in the library folder, I'm pretty sure. And you want to hit um, set deck wants to be five. And oh, I, I don't know why I have that yet. That checked. You shouldn't have this checked because your whole recording will be stopped. You don't want that to happen. And that's about it, guys. Um, I believe that is everything. You can use that recording device to record anything that uses HDMI, the iPad, the PlayStation, the Mo the Xbox, and yeah, that's about it. Um. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. I hope it was helpful. I don't know if it was. I'm probably going to rewatch it and make sure I didn't miss anything. But if I did miss anything, I will um, notify you guys. So in the description of the video, if I miss anything or if you want to know um, the names of anything. Quick thing, if you if you want to no, know while I'm doing this. This, this uh, mouse is called the Rat7. That is for my headset. And this little stand that my computer's on right right now, if you can see, is called the Rain Design M Stand. It's awesome. I love it. So I kind of have like the dual monitor set up a little bit. And that's about it, guys. Oh, oh, oh. I, this is just kind of a tip if you guys are in this video this far. Um, that takes up so much space. So I suggest using memory. I suggest you using an external hard drive. And what I have done is... I don't know if you can see this or how well you can see it, but these these are two internal drives. Um, I bought them from MacSales.com. They're just standard Hitachi internal drives, both one terabyte at 7,200 RPM. And I bought this little adapter. It's called the Black the Black X Do the Black X Duet, and uh, basically it lets you use a USB cable to connect internal hard drives. Basically you just save about $600, which is great. And you can uh, send these hard drives, you can take them out, send them to someone you want. 
and they just have to have that adapter which was only like 40 bucks and each drive was about 80 so do the math that saves you a whole lot of money so if I'm recording I will make it to where it saves automatically onto this drive and that way my computer never runs out of space and I think that is everything now alright guys I hope you enjoy this video and uh, make sure you subscribe for more thanks guys I'll talk to you later peace out